kicking off the new patch with T50M. Hello guys and welcome back to World of Tanks Sace Tanker series. Today I will be driving the E50M on the map Pilsen and I'm going to drive my E50M on the standard medium line that's the 9 and 0 lines on the map. Now the matchup is pretty nice there is a 6 or 7 tier 10s, a couple of tier 9s and rest tier 8 and 7 which is pretty good it's not that bad and I'm expecting to have a really good game here. Now you can see that this is the first replay from the 9.14 patch. In my opinion Wargaming did an excellent job here. The game feels more immersive. You can really hear those shots in the distance. You really can hear the engine, the shifting of the gears and everything which makes you more immersive in the game and uh, really it is a nice feel to drive around in one of the mediums or the lights. Now you can see that on this side there are no enemy tanks. That is a mistake I am always talking about not abandoning one of your flanks. Uh, just let me pause there. You heard that shot from the T-34. It bounced on the front of the hull and it sounded really really nice. In, if you are wearing headphones you can hear the sound bouncing on the top of the tank and on the front plate which is really nice. Now I was saying about the gameplay on this map you really have to take care of your flanks don't allow the enemies to flank you that's for the opponent team now we are flanking them they didn't send any tanks to the 9 and 0 line, only that they makes 1319. And that's the mistake for them, they are now surrounded from two sides and they will be killed quickly. Now, it's maybe 3 minutes into the game and they already lost 5 tanks. One of them being the tier 10 and one of them being tier 9. That is really bad play by the enemy team. And this is what I was talking about, every time when you have the opportunity to flank your enemies, go for it. Now I'm attacking this C100, put a nice tracking shot in him, you may have heard their sounds that when you are spotted you heard the sound of spotting, when you track the enemy you heard the sound that you track the enemy, that are the new things that Wargaming brought in this patch informational sounds and when you get used to them they can mean a lot for you. Now a few other things that are pretty nice in this patch I used to use mods for map the mod that showed the drawing circle for the view range and the draw distance and everything else. That was a really bad play by this LTTB he shoots me in the back because I was trying to back off not to get shot by the E100 and I <laughs> tried to shoot him back, it was really bad for me. Now you see that the enemies are not really going to have any chance of winning. I go for the lower plate here on the mouse but I decide to shoot his cupola and he is looking somewhere else. So I was talking about the mods that I was using, I used XVM to basically get the map mode and sometimes help you with gameplay but now when the wargaming introduced these new lines on the map which really they could have done like five patches back it is really really nice to not have to use any mods and you can play on the vanilla and really get nice games now the game is about to end, there is only this E50M in front of us and the IS-3. I am hiding my tank behind the wreck of this T-10, not allowing the E50M to shoot me. I have his lower plate, I can snapshot him pretty easily from this position. I didn't really reload here and I went forward, that was a mistake, I got shot by the E50M shot to the lower plate but it really didn't go. 
in where I was hoping for. Now there's three wanted to shoot me there. I pointed my armor to him, but fortunately he misses. He gets shot here. And now this is the new thing that you can do in your tank. You saw a little slide there. That allowed me to avoid the shot from the IS-3. Uh, still my tanks are shooting me. That's the last kill. That's a GG. And let's take a look at the boss game stats. As you can see, I had a nice game here. I got a couple of medals like Spotter, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, and of course the Mastery Badge Ace Tanker. On team score sheet, you can see that I did 6500 damage, 3 kills, and 1300 experience. On detailed report, you can see that I fired 24 shots, of which 22 hit the target and 18 penetrated. I also managed to block 1,900 damage and score around 2,500 assisted damage. This was an average E50M game, but I really wanted to show you this replay and to ask you guys what you think about the new patch. You can answer in the comments below or answer the poll in the top right corner. Tell me what you think. Did the Wargaming do a good job? How do you like the sounds and how do you like the new mechanics of the tanks? I'm really looking forward to hearing from you and stay safe on the battlefield. Thank you all for watching. If you didn't like the video, drop a dislike or leave a comment how I can improve the channel. And if you liked the video, hit the like button, share and subscribe for more content as it really helps me out a lot. And also don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus to get the new content first, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if you're wondering what to watch next, hit the little i button in the top right corner and it will lead you to another video. See you guys next time.